challenging practice. Wendy bought seven bags. Each bag cost the same amount. She paid the cashier one hundred dollars and received three dollars as change. So, first let's figure out the amount that she paid. So amount she paid would be a hundred dollars minus G dollars. That's the change. So the amount she paid will be hundred minus G. That's the amount she paid. So amount for each bag would be one hundred minus G divided by seven. So that's the amount for each bag. So for B, if the price of each bag was more than ten dollars, what is the least possible value of G? So in this case, we can do a few try and arrows. So if if the change is zero dollars, if G if the change is zero dollars, then that means she will be spending a hundred dollars on the bags. But because we have we are buying just seven bags. This is not a whole number, so G is not the answer. So G equals to zero is not the answer. If G is equals to one, then what it means is the amount that she spends would be ninety nine dollars divided by seven. However, this is not a whole number either. So therefore, G is not equals to one. Let's try the last one. So in this case, if G is equals to two, so the amount that she will spend on each bag would be ninety eight divided by seven. So what is ninety eight divided by seven? Ninety eight divided by seven would be fourteen. So in this case, she will be spending fourteen dollars on each bag. Fourteen dollars is greater than ten dollars. And fourteen dollars is a whole number, so the answer would be G equals to two. Problem solving. So there are forty pupils in the class. There are x more girls than boys. So how many boys are there in terms of x? So let's try bar modeling. So we have boys, and we have girls. So there are more girls than boys. And how much more? X number more. And together we have forty pupils. So over here, we have we can draw our boxes. So this is a unit, and this is another unit. So we can in our math. So two units will be equals to forty minus x, and the number of boys. It's actually just one unit, so one unit is equals to forty minus x divided by two. So the number of boys would be forty minus x divided by two because the number of boys is just one unit. If x is equals to four, how many boys are there? So if x is equals to four, forty minus x over two would be forty. Minus four divided by two, which is thirty-six divided by two, which is eighteen.